So here we are back in Beam, and uh, I installed this Fairhaven map, which is basically a straight port of Fairhaven City from Me First Be Most Wanted 2012. And honestly, it's pretty cool because it's got like a crash camera, and the whole map is all there, including the DLCs. And I also have this uh, Ibishu Crossport installed. It's kind of like a CX CX5, I think, like those er late 2000s Mazda SUVs. And yeah, let's get going. I also did install this new camera mod, which is like a chase camera. It Basically, it's like the orbit camera, but it centers, like, automatically. And you can look around 360. Pretty cool. So one downside about this map is that it's actually really hard to run. Um, oh, there are speed cameras. I forgot about that. I should be, wish I was going a bit faster though, set a faster uh, record. But yeah, it's it stutters a lot. Actually, I've never seen it stutter this bad, and maybe because I'm recording. Wow, it's actually pretty bad. I never thought about it. It would be, be this bad. But yeah, this this map kind of fills the gap. I feel like that's okay. The game's gonna freeze again. Um, it feel, it fills the void that Beam has of like city maps, because I mean, West Coast is kind of like a city, but there's too much elevation change. It's not like a generic city. It's very, it's got some unique elements to it. But what I'm really looking for is just a generic city map to drive around, and this is kind of what it is. It's got good traffic support. Highways, uh, city streets, honestly all you need. It also has the radio for Most Wanted. Although I turned it off because, you know, I'm doing commentary and there's also copyright stuff. The roads look a little bit wet and they give off like splash when you drive over them, but it doesn't affect the driving in any way. Oh, I forgot to mention. I don't know if I did, but there's cash cameras as well. Which is pretty cool. Something I wish Beam like had like way before. I'm not sure how it was implemented though. Like it probably just it needs a hard enough impact. Let's say I just bump to this wall right here. It doesn't do anything. Like there's no camera, just like you know, real life most wanted. I would say real life, but I mean the original game. You need to like a, a hard enough impact where it actually basically totals the car for, for the cash camera pull up. I wish you could use it in like other maps, but I have no clue how it, how it even works being with. There you go, another another example of it. I think all it really does is just activate slow motion. And and go to some cinematic angle. Actually no, it's not even cinematic angle. Because I don't think, like, let's say I press 4 right now, right? It doesn't look like that when I crash. Like, it doesn't give the same angle that I usually would have. Okay, the game's just gonna freeze again. Um, yeah, the only problem I really have with this map is the fact that it freezes and stutters quite a lot. Which is to be expected, it's a pretty big map. And very detailed as well. The billboards also work, let me try to find the billboard. I'll, I'll talk about it more when I find one, to use as an example. This car is pretty alright, it, it like, it's pretty accurate for a, you know, late 2000s Japanese SUV. It's not really a performance car, so you don't expect it to drive fast, or handle well. It does its job, you know. I think there's a build where I could break. Okay, I completely bottomed out on there because I had no ground clearance. Or at least not enough to clear that.
Yeah, so on the top left, it shows billboard cleared. It doesn't actually break. Or billboard found, whatever. It actually doesn't actually break, but, you know, it counts it. Which is, I feel like, is more important. Like, the fact that the feature is even there to begin with. I've driven this car for quite a bit. And I think it, like, there's a limiter for this, this trim at 100 or so. Because I could be going downhill. It doesn't want to accelerate past 100. But the, the GTZ model, I, I think, has a higher limiter. There's also a hydrogen one, which drives, which is so slow. But again, you know, it's supposed to be like a concept car. It's not supposed to be a race car. A map I'm still, like, hoping to get soon is a GTA 4 map. Like, GTA 4's map is small for a GTA game, but I feel like it's perfect for a beam map. Because they're just driving through it. The reason why it feels small is because you can walk around and it's... I don't know. Maybe it's just the, the way I perceive games. But, um, yeah. I will let's see GTA 4's map one day. There was a, I think there was a Burnout Paradise map port that was work in progress. I have no clue how it is right now. But last time I played it, it was so hard to run. I don't think it had traffic either. This map runs so much smoother on the gaming PCs at my school. Like, they actually have a good setup. Mine is, like, not bad, but I wouldn't say it's the best. There we go. I was like wondering where the tra crash cam was. It took a second, but I had to flip over first, I guess. Is this just gonna keep going? Okay, it stopped. Okay, I guess those aren't even like modeled. Really, they don't have a uh, what's it called collision. That's the word. Like, this map is definitely, um, built better for most wanted physics. Like, beam cars tend to just break really often when doing any of the stunts. Unless you have a purposely built car. I kind of remember the subway tunnel. Oh, okay. I guess you're not supposed to drive on it. It's like... I already blew out my front, front right tire. Let me turn off traction control. It's like, it's not letting me drive at all. There we go. We might have real spin, but at least we get moving. Yeah, in the in the base game, you definitely would have been able to um, just drive over these with ease, but I, I can't even drive over them at all. So is there is there actually water texture? I'm not sure. Okay. As you can see, there's uh, some stuff stopping you from actually going to the water, apparently. It, it looks like it's supposed to be water, but it's just pitch black. It looks like a swamp. I know in the base game, it definitely does not look like that. Oh, right. This also has an airport DLC. Let me find it on the map. We could drive there. And this is something that I never even experienced in the base game, because I don't think I had any of the DLCs. Uh... Here. Set route. Uh, it's, it's relatively far, but at least we get to explore the map on the way. There's another car we could check out. I loaded this, uh, this old solid Wendover. It's, um, sort of a Moonhawk reskin. Changes some parts out. I kind of like the, the redesign, though. It looks a bit better than the Moonhawk. And and slightly slightly cooler trims as well. Oops, I... Can I, can I get automatic? There we go.
something I do love about this chase camera is that like it has camera shake once you get high speeds. You couldn't really do that because first of all the game was stuttering so much. And also the way it sways around. That's pretty cool. But yeah, that it it was just stuttering so much, you can't didn't get to really experience it. So honestly, okay. Oops. I think that calls for another reset. This car's a bit hard to drive being a American car from the 1970s. Oh, there's... forgot to mention, there's, um... Fairhaven plates. You can't really tell, like... from afar, but if you just... I think if I just stop and you look at the license plate. It says Fairhaven. October... 23? Does it say October 23? 12. Okay, I think that's when the game came out. That wouldn't make sense to do that. The, um, the paint, not the paint shops, these are gas stations. Well, technically, they are paint shops, but not actually. Like, that's what they do, but not that's not what they are. But yeah, these gas stations, they changed, they actually changed the color of your car, which is pretty cool. Well, I guess you can't really change the roof color. But, if you can drive through them as many times as you want. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually like fix your car. Let, let's say I get a, I get a dent right here. And I back into the gas station. It doesn't actually fix it. It just changes it to another color. There you go. Okay, back to our, back to our journey to the airport. Oh, there goes my hubcap. I'm not playing on a wheel today because, honestly, driving with a wheel with a game that's stuttering is never a good idea. Because your motion, the feedback from the wheels will be such delayed, it's going to be impossible to drive. I think it's like kind of cleared up a bit. It stopped stuttering so much. Maybe it's just the portion of the map I'm on. The, the airfield with all the abandoned planes also there. I tried doing some of the jumps, but like I said, it's beam physics, so I don't expect too much. Let's make this a bit more of a challenge and drive one like the opposite lane. Okay, that's why you don't do that. You're just gonna fishtail and slam into someone's car. Let's swap cars again. Alright, so this is another um, Soliant mod I downloaded. It's uh, it's based on the Mustang, the Fox Body Mustang. Basically, it looks like one. It's just a couple of changes to make it, like, you know, not a straight rip off. It's pretty cool, but the, I don't think the yeah, the headlights don't light up anything. That's the only problem I have with this mod. But if you drive it through the daytime, it's basically fine. It's actually pretty fast as well. I forgot how fast this car was. Although you do have to be careful because it's a bit slippery. I think I have an exit coming up. Yeah, that uh, tells me that a bit late. I don't know why my car or this guy's car or anyone's car is just flashing. Oh, that's like the focus from um, the trailer. Okay, that definitely was not good. It just, it just lag spiked and then I slammed into that Pessimo. This this uh this map also has a night cycle, day night cycle. And it looks so good at night as well. 
Like, everything actually illuminates compared to, I don't know, other maps like East Coast or West Coast. But here, there's, like, street lighting, everything. Uh, there we go. Back to our journey. Although, it's a bit unfortunate that, like, you know, my headlights don't even work. I'm tempted. I'm going to take this jump, actually. I, it's probably a billboard at the end of it. I did not make that jump. I save it. I mean, does it still drive in a straight line? Um, straight-ish line. I'll take it. Okay, I have no clue what I hit. I think I bought him now on something and like took him out of my exhaust. Okay, that, that was kind of funny. It just gave me like two crash cameras in a row. I'm gonna swap to something with like actual headlights now. Okay, so I just went with the, the, the Civetta. Like, this is something you'll actually see in Most Wanted, not like a Fox Buddy Mustang or a Mazda SUV. Wow, this car is not fun to drive when the game doesn't want, want to run smoothly. I wish I could just go on that curb, but I know it's just going to bottom out again. I wonder if I actually like tried for those speed traps how fast of a time I could how fast of a speed can I achieve? I don't know why the GPS being so weird. It's telling me like swerve left and right on the road. Honestly, this chase camera really enhances, like, the, the gameplay. It's got a new color. What is this, orange? That's basically the same thing. Let's actually get a, a different color. There we go, green. I'm not even sure it is a factory color. It looks so out of place. Alright, yep, this car's toast. It's so much more fun to play, like when it's not stuttering every five seconds. Let's change the time of day again. We got some like light in this in this game. Sunrise is pretty cool. It's a pretty nice atmosphere. It's different than sunset. Oh, there goes my mirror. Oh, that's weight reduction. I think we're almost there. Okay, can this game stop freezing? Okay, here we are, finally at the airport. I'm not sure, this may be the only map DLC the, the base game had. Oh, okay, there we go, I just curved my wheels.
I wonder if it's possible to drive on those, like, that path right there without damaging your car too much. Actually, first, let me try to get on the curb. How do you get up there? That, that looks like it may be a ramp. That is definitely a ramp. That is such a steep ramp in BMG terms. Okay, I damaged my car just by... Okay. I think I, I, think I lost all steering. We definitely need a Karambora ground clearance. By the way, if you want, you could disable the crash camera, but it makes the game feel unique, you know, this map specifically. Usually I would never drive this car, but I feel like it's good for the situation we need here. It's got ground clearance and speed, and that's honestly all I need. I could have went with a truck, but that's not as durable. Oh my god, that just ate my tires. Okay, let me go back up a little bit. Okay, let's hope this doesn't eat my tires again. Okay, maybe, maybe that's not a good idea. Where else can we drive on the airport? There's a bunch of these jumps here, which I'm pretty sure my car will not handle. So where is that from? Where does that lead from? Okay. Let's go over here. Okay, so there should be a jump at the end of this, pretty sure. Let's hold my car's geared high enough for it. Never mind, it's just gonna spin out and the game's just gonna stutter. Let me back up a little bit, try that again. That crash camera was so early. I have no clue how it predicts this. It's so eager to like take me back to the regular camera that it gives me like two crash cameras back to back. I know there's a jump on the other side. Let me try that. Okay, I made it to this one. I just gotta get some more speed. I'll make the other one probably as well. Can't believe I finally found a use for this car. Now that was that, that crash cam was just delayed for some reason. I'm pretty sure there's other cars like this I could use. Like maybe one of the trophy trucks. You could try these jumps that they have here, but 
no guarantee that I'll make any of them. At least I made the billboard. Where's another one I could try out? That was like the slowest crash camera ever. This car's still fine. I think uh, the alignment might be a bit off. Just a little bit. Oh my god, it just understeered the whole time. I got a different car, and um, let's see if we go in the airfield itself, how it is. There's gotta be jumps like around the planes or something. That is not the correct way, I don't think. It's this way, yeah. Wait a second. I feel like you could drive through that. Okay, now where does this lead me, though? Somehow it deflated my tire. Okay, that, that was actually my bad. There we go. It's like the one of the first jumps we actually didn't like get a crash camera on. Why is there a speed camera on the airfield? Okay. The car should be still fine. But honestly, I think that would be it for today's video. Like, n none of the cars on beam seems to be capable of performing any of the stunts at all. Maybe I just need more, like, driving skill in terms of, you know, stunt driving. I don't know. But yeah, that's, uh, that's about it for today's video. Let me zoom out, get a good view of the map. Not much of it renders in. Unless you're close by. So you can't really get a good skyline view. It's just, you know, emptiness over there. I can see some more textures now. But yeah, that's all I really have planned for today's video. Hope you guys all enjoy watching, and I'll see you in the next one.